Hi there guys, something a little bit different today. Today we're looking at Jill wakeboarding. Now before you all disappear, I know we're kite surfers, but wakeboarding is really, really useful for our kite surfing. I think this video will illustrate why. I mean, this is a super, super useful view of how we can isolate skills that we use in kite surfing while we're wakeboarding. Now this is taken from our 30 days one trick course where we get you doing your next trick and then every loads of other tricks after that, every single trick you want to land after that in record time by using a load of techniques, a load of skills, and this is one of the techniques we use, video feedback. Okay, so if you're interested, you can check that out at go.tantrumkitesurf.com. Super, super useful for the guys who've been doing it so far. We've had some massive results. But anyway, onto the video. What we're looking at here is engaging the edge. Now, I wanna show you what's happening here. This is Jill coming into a kicker. Now, as she comes into the kicker, she's quite anxious, and you can see this in her body, you know, because she's really trying to crank. She's really trying to engage the edge. But look what's happened to her body. She's folded in the middle. And this is a classic beginner's mistake in kite surfing when you're trying to ride up wind, when you're trying to engage the edge. You, you, you try and crank so hard on the back heel by sticking your bum out, by sitting down, by shitting, as we say, excuse my French, that actually what happens is your head comes forward. Now your head is the heaviest object on your body. It's also the highest up, so it has the most effect on your balance. And you can see here, it's actually in front of her toes. So the head is pushing weight onto her toe side. So she's got to stick her bum out further to try and crank it onto the heel side. But as she sticks the bum out further, the head naturally goes further forward. So you get this amazing situation, this amazing sort of negative feedback situation where you try and crank harder and harder and it becomes harder and harder to crank. Your board just flattens out. Now look what happens after she hits the kicker. Very nicely taken, but she relaxes. And look, look what happens here. Beautiful spray coming out in the wake. Bums pushed forward, she's shagging now. Head's back, head is thrown back over the back of the board and she's really engaging that she's not trying to engage there, she's just relaxed, dropped her head back. So now all her weight is onto that heel side. So this is what we're trying to say when we tell people, shit don't, sorry, shag don't shit. That is a classic shitting stance, you know. Bum is out, you're bent in the middle and every your weight is actually forward so the board's flat and you can see it's flat because there's no spray, or there's very little spray coming out the back. Boom, relaxes, boom, and look at that beautiful carve out there. Yep, so this is what we're talking about. Get those hips forward, get the head back, and then all your weight is over that heel side edge. As soon as you start sticking your bum out, your head has to come forward. There's no other way it can go, and as it comes forward, it puts weight onto your toe side, which naturally flattens the board out. Okay, so hope that helps some of you out there, guys. Get out there, get kite surfing, and we'll see you on the water soon. Cheers. Goodbye.